All right, first and foremost, I want to give all the honors and the praises and the glory belongs to Yahweh by Sham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Wahavakar Kwadash. The name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh, and the Son's name is Yahweh Shai, in who I reverence. And honors to the apostles that I'm in the Holy Spirit, and to the hopeful elect across the globe, and to the few, the very few brothers and sisters that are listening and also learning in hopes of being saved within these last days. And I want to say to Wadi Yahawa, 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 right? And today, yeah, it's camp day, but this is going to be a little, um, it's going to be an indoors lesson, right? We're going to switch it up. We're going to switch up the pattern. We're not going to do everything the same. Right? We're not going to do things how the world does it. So Lord willing this to be acceptable and edifying. And it's going to be concerning World War III. Because that's what I've been thinking about this past last week. That's all I've been thinking about is World War III. NATO, Russia, China, Ukraine. There's a lot of tension going on. Okay, And you've got the latest bombings in um, Syria. I believe America bombed Syria yesterday. So there's a lot of things going on, a lot of things going on, right? And I believe one of Russia's missile, was it, was it one of Russia's missile bases were actually bombed as well. A lot of things are going on. So we're going to just flow with the spirit. We're going to start off with these articles. Some of them are old, some of them year old, months old. But we're going to read these different articles from different sources. This was from the Reuters. Exclusive NATO chief Stoltenberg calls China a security challenge. A security challenge. Why? Because they're not playing. They're not moving at the tune of America anymore. Or NATO. And China is very self-sufficient because most of the things we have, if you look at it, it's its product from China. So China are very, very, very self-sufficient. They have nuclear capability. When it comes to trading, but the only thing I've got to tell you, China is not going to be the next world power. That's the only thing. Even though they have power, they're not going to be the next world power. All right? Yeah, how are is? So basically, he's getting worried. NATO Stoltenberg is getting worried about China. All right? And saying cooperation with Moscow since Russia's invasion of Ukraine and Chinese comments against NATO enlargement show why the Western Defense Alliance should crack down and upon them, all right? NATO Chief Stoltenberg's concern, and this was from 21st of February 2023, from Brussels North Atlantic Treaty Organization, Chief Jen Stoltenberg, concerns on Tuesday that China could supply Russia with weapons to help pursue its war against them, all right? Which, if you know anything, Russia are in agreement with China. They're having meetings, and he, Russia had a meeting with... Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? I believe it was India not too long ago, a couple of days ago. So it says China must openly condemn Russia's invasion of Ukraine as illegal before engaging in any moderation, moderation efforts to bring war to an end. So this is Stoltenberg saying this. Right? So Stoltenberg's trying to get in China's ears and tell them to condemn the Russia. But this is a lot of propaganda, right? Especially from Western media. Because all you hear is Russia, Russia the bad guy, but NATO, they're doing the same, look, they're doing the same thing. But these are what you call proxy wars as well. So we're gonna start a foreign Luke Babakasha. And we're gonna go in and out of the new translation and the King James Version as well. Let's start off with Luke 21. We're gonna read it from the new translation first. It says, some of the disciples were remarking about how the temple was adorned with beautiful stones and with gifts dedicated to the Most High. But Yahweh said, as for what you see here, the time will come when not one stone will be left upon another. And this would be concerning when Yahweh would what leave, right? The temple would what be thrown down and everyone would be thrown down. Teacher, they ask, when will these things happen and what will be the sign that they are? are about to take place 
he replied, watch out that you are not deceived because we're in a time of deception and many people are being deceived. Right? Even when we see these news articles, you have to be able to filter it through the scriptures. And filter it the right way. Okay? For many will come in my name, claiming I am he. And you see that with the churches, you have that false image of Serapis Christos, which is Caesar Borgia today, which they call Jesus. Many people are deceived just by that image alone. And the time is near. Do not follow them. Don't go after them. When you hear of wars and revolutions. This is a revolution right now that's happening. Do not be frightened. These things must happen first, but the end will not come right away. Because these things need to happen because it's part of prophecy. But we know there's no gonna there's not gonna be no um ICBM missiles flying right now. Why? Because the RFID needs to be implemented first. And that's why they're starting what? A human global database. That's why they're putting up these 5G towers everywhere. Okay? To build up that infrastructure first. When he said nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom, we're seeing this now. Russia is a nation, right? Right? Okay? Iran is a nation, right? It's a nation of people. Okay, Persians. Right? And Russia were known as what the Medes. And kingdom against kingdom. So we'll see these things. Right? And the scriptures, oh, this is spiritual. Then there will be great earthquakes, famines, and pestilence in various places, and fearful events and great signs from heaven. So we're seeing these things. But it's this kingdom against kingdom. And the thing about Esau's kingdom, right? His kingdom is divided against itself. Let's go to Mark, Baba Kishan. Now we're going to go to the King James Version. Okay. I haven't got nothing written down. And I like to do that. That way I'm relying on the Holy Spirit more. This is Mark 3. And we're going to jump straight to verse... Check this out. 22. You know, start, start, start at 21. And when his friends heard of it, they went out to lay hold of on him for they said he is beside himself this is this is what they were like with um Yahabashai. he's beside himself in other words he's mad this is how the, today if you have a is hair in the flesh this is how people would perceive you that's why it says they went to lay hold on him for they said he is beside himself all right in other words he ain't quite there and the scribes which came down from Jerusalem said, he had Beelzebub. So that's even going to happen to some of your brothers as well. They're going to say, yeah, they're going to call you a devil. When they're the devils. <laughs> and Beelzebub means what? Demons, basically. But El, and by the prince of devils, cast out devils. But we know that devils can't cast out devils, right? I've never seen some of an unclean spirit cast out another unclean spirit. I've never seen that. I've never seen someone that's seen Christianity cast out a spirit out of somebody else that was in Christianity. And he called unto them, unto him, and said, unto them, in parables, this is Yahweh Shai speaking. How can Satan cast out Satan? That's impossible. Right? And if a kingdom be divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand. And this is going back in what we went into Luke 21. Right, when it says kingdom against kingdom, nation against nation. So we see that this kingdom is divided against itself. Because even within the European nations, that whole Brexit thing that was going on, that's a division amongst European nations. Because you have some, some nations say, Oh, we wanna be um we wanna be self sufficient, we wanna break off from the from the um the other nations. Well, you know what that done? That just weakens the economy. As soon as you had the Brexit, that just weakened the economy. Because most of the doctors, most of the nurses, most of your medicine is from what? Europe, European countries. So that messed up a lot of things. So we know this kingdom is divided against itself. And kingdom cannot stand. This is how we know this kingdom cannot stand. And if a house be divided against itself, that house cannot stand. Because you even got... British that say, oh, I can't stand the Polish. They're taking all the jobs. I remember that years ago. But I don't know if they still say that today. The Polish, the Polish, and um, 
the Polish and the Eastern Europeans said, no, they're not. It's just they're willing to work more hard. <laughs> they're willing to work more harder for less pay. That's all it is. Right? So these are Edomites as well, the majority of them. So this shows you there's a division even within the European nations. And if house be divided against itself, that house cannot stand. And this is twofold as well. This is why you've got to watch out for this devil because he would try to... um. The devil likes to try to break up households. He's about confusion. Alright? But his house is falling. And if Satan rise up against himself and be divided, he cannot stand. So we're even seeing, even between the elites, there's even divisions among him and his sons and so forth. But have an end. And this is how we know this kingdom has an end. Right? But it's going to be a process to all of these things. Okay, so now we went to that Baba Kasha. Let's go to this Jeremiah. Jeremiah 50, 51. Because this it is going to get bad. All these nations are going to rise up. Okay. I quickly want to go to Joel as well. Let's see if we can get Joel. If we can find it. Yeah, there is going to be a world war. And you can have all these meetings, because you know when they have the meetings, oh, it's, a, it's a peace conference. Um, you've got to stop. No, it's all about the Lord, Jehovah's will. If he wants there to be, there is going to be a, a world war free. So let's go to Joel. Brother Kishar. And these things need to happen, because if these things didn't happen, then it wouldn't be prophecy, would it? If it didn't happen. But it is going to happen. Joel. What's it? 833. Excuse me just a minute. While people are partying, all up in the bread and circus, going football. Why is football day? Pass the ball. Like, these people don't understand what's really going on. Okay. So see if we can find it. Let's go to quickly go to Joel 3. And 9. It says, proclaim me war. Proclaim me this among the Gentiles. Prepare war. Wake up the mighty men. Let all the men of war draw near. Let them come up. And this is basically concerning Armageddon. When they go to what? Israel. And it says. Beat your plowshares into swords and your pruners into spears. Right? Let the weak say I am strong. So the weak nations. Which were considered once upon a time weak. They become strong now because, again, when it says beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into despair, pruning hook is for agriculture, along with plowshares. But the same money they invested in these particular agriculture to build up um, their, their city or country, they're now investing these things into what? Nuclear arms. That's why you've got India. They have nuclear missiles. Mo What's his name? Modi. Modi. The, what the president, the prime minister, what do you call it? I don't know what you call it in the prime minister or president of India. He's linked up with Russia. And Russia have sold what? S what? S 300s? S 400s? To India. So yeah, there's trade going on. And now these nations, they're not so much weak because they have military might. So they have become strong. As well as Turkey, military might. Right? Libya, I believe, military might. And... Putin, he's linked up with something called the B I, the B R I C, BRIC nations, and these would be considered weaker nations in America. But he has them more back in him. It tells us that in Ezekiel as well, thirty-eight. This is really, 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 really going to get serious between these nations. Okay, it's really going to get and Russia already. It tells us that in Ezekiel thirty-eight. Okay, one thing at a time. So let's go to Ezekiel 38 quickly. And the word of the Lord came unto me saying, Son of man, set thy face against Gog. Right? You know what? I had a sheep explaining where all these places were as well. We you know Gog is the ancient term for Russia. Right? Gog and Magog, if you have an ancient map. Okay. And the chief prince of Misha and Tabal and prophesy against him. So the prophets, it wasn't just one thing of America, they were also prophesying against Russia. 
and say, Thus saith the Lord Power, Behold, I am against thee, O God, the chieftains and Meshach and Tubal. I will turn thee back and put hooks into thy jaws. So we see how that's orchestrating this through the angels. Turn thee back into what? That cold war spirit. Okay. That cold war Russia spirit. Okay. And put hooks into thy jaws. And I will bring thee forth and all thine army, horses and horsemen, all them forth with sorts of armor. Even a great company. And Russia has a great, that's a big army. Right? But so does NATO. Look at all them. Look, look at look at NATO. NATO consists of who? NATO was the acronym for what? North Atlantic Treaty Organization. It was established August the fourth, nineteen forty nine, consisting of what? Nineteen nations: Greece, Italy, Spain, France, West Germany, United Kingdom, Portugal, Belgium, Netherlands, Luxembourg, Canada, Norway, Denmark, Iceland, Turkey, United States, Poland, Hungary, and Czech Republic. So that's NATO. That's that's a big army when you put it put it together. But they're still threatened of Russia, right? They're still Russia's still a threat to them. But that's a big army, and plus they got America as backing what NATO, they're they're backing what the woman, the whole. We're gonna get into all that, Lord winning. Okay, they're a covering for America. So we're back on Ezekiel 38. And it says a great company with buckler's shields, all of them handling swords, weapons. Verse 5, check this out. Persia and the ancient... Who, who, who's Persia today? If you were to pick a nation or country. Persia is the modern-day Iranians. They're Persians, by the way. Okay? Ethiopia. which We have Kush. Right? And Libya with them. So Russia supplying these nations and doing trade with them to get them on their good side. War tactics. And Libya with them. All of them with shield and helmet. So they're going to be a backing to who? Russia. Verse 6, Goma. We believe Goma is what? Turkey. Right? Goma is Turkey and all his bands. So Turkey are going to switch sides. Right? Turkey claims to be in alliance with NATO, but they're going to switch sides. And the house of Togoma and the north quarters and all his bands and many people with these. So you're going to start a lot of these nations. They're going to start changing sides and switch on America, all these things are going to play out. All these things. So now we went to that. Let me make sure I'm not missing anything. Now let's go to Second Ezra 16. You know what? Leave that. You know, now let's go to Second Ezra 16. I want to get this all in the right order. Second Ezra 16. It says, What will be unto Babylon? And we know the modern day Babylon is America, to those of you that can receive it. And Asia. And we know it ain't talking about ancient Babylon, because ancient Babylon, it wasn't destroyed by nuclear missiles, by the way. Right? It was a kingdom, Iraq, but that kingdom fell. Okay. And Asia, right? War will be unto thee. And Russia is just between what's it's just in what Siberia, which is class as what Asia, right? Just between the borders of Europe. Okay. War will be unto thee, Egypt and Syria. All these nations are going to get involved. Gird up yourselves with cloths of sack and hair. So when you gird yourself with sack, sackcloth and hair, it's for mourning. Be well your children and be sorry for your destruction is at hand. And a sword is sent upon you. And who may turn it back? So this sword is going to be sent. A sword represents what? Destruction. And it says who may turn it back? See the Lord Jehovah, he has a sense of humour. A fire is sent among you. And who may quench it? So nobody's going to be able to quench it. Plagues are sent unto you. And what is he that may drive them away? So once these plagues are sent forth. Right, and the scriptures talk about in Revelation the seven vials, which are the plagues. Right, who's going to drive them away? Hmm? Verse six: May any drive away a hungry lion in the woods? The answer is no. Right? Are you just about right, a lion's hungry? Are you just going to be able to say, "Just go away, don't eat that"? No, unless you have what spiritual power. Okay. And it says, "Baba Kasha." Or may one quench the fire in a stubble? When it had begun to burn. 
okay and it's going to be a lot of fires everywhere it's going to be a lot of fires and you ain't going to have no fire brigades you ain't going to have no helicopters with um going into the sea and <laughs> taking up some water to try and what put out the fight that's not going to work may one turn again the arrow that is shot of a strong archer so the missiles are known as what arrows right and the archers would be what the, the what the silo that they get shot from the mighty lord sendeth the plagues and who is he that can drive them away so we see how that's doing these things sending these plagues and who is he going to be that drives them away a fire shall go forth from his wrath and who is he that may quench it so once that fire goes forth who's going to be able to stop it who's going to be able to quench it hmm? he shall cast lightnings and who shall not fear you're going to hear more storms. You're going to hear more lightnings. Okay. And these people, they do fear. When they hear that, you, you start, they had some people yesterday, they were screaming their heads off as soon as they heard a bit of storm. And he shall find it, and who shall not be afraid? The Lord shall threaten, and who shall not utterly be beaten to powder at his presence? The earth quaketh, and the foundations of the sea arise up with the waves of the deep, and the waves of are troubled, and the fishes there will also. Before the Lord you have a shite and before the glory of his power. For strong is his right hand that bendeth the bow. Right? So that bow's being bent. His arrows that he shooteth are sharp. You look at the missiles, they're very pointy, innit? They look sharp. Right? And they like that. So when it hits, it explodes on impact. Okay? And shall not, his arrows that he shooteth are sharp and shall not miss because they have navigational systems embedded in them. Where to go? You know how long it takes just certain missiles to get to one destination? No longer than 15 minutes, these ICB, no longer than 15, 10 minutes, these ICB and missiles from one part of the earth to the other. And all nations have got them. What do you think they got these missiles for? Just to stay there, just to look pretty. These missiles are going to be sharp. When they begin to be shot into the ends of the world. So there's going to be different parts of the world where these missiles are going to be shot. Behold, the plagues are sent and shall not return again until they come upon the earth. The fire is kindled and shall not be put out till it consume the foundation of the earth. Like as an arrow which is shot of a mighty archer, a physical one, a little bow and arrows, but turn if not backwards. It doesn't turn backwards, it goes forward and it drops where you shot it. Okay, even so the plagues that shall be sent upon the earth shall not return again. So once they're sent out, they're not going to return again. Woe is me, woe is me. Who would deliver me in those days? This is what Ezra's was saying. This is the vision that Ezra saw. Right? Am I going to be looked after? What's going to happen to me then? Am I going to be safe? And that's a humble mindset to have. Okay, the beginning of sorrows, verse 18. And basically, you may ask, what am I reading? I'm reading the Apocrypha, which is a part of the Bible. The beginning of sorrows and great mornings. So this, this is just the beginning. You think things are bad right now? It's just the beginning of sorrows and great mornings. Did you see what happened in Turkey with that um, earthquake? That was a lot of, we're talking about thousands, thousands of people dying. All these things you're going to see on a wide, worldwide scale. The beginning of famine and great death. It's just the beginning. And yes, there is going to be famine. There is going to be famines. People are so comfortable. Because we could just, you know, we can just order stuff. We can just go here, go here, go to the shops, go to the pub, go to the football stadium. All that's going to, all that's going to change very soon. And great death. So it says great death, not just a great death. You're going to see bodies laid out everywhere. The beginning of wars and the power shall stand in fear the powers that be they're going to stand in fear of you have the beginning of evils what should i do when this evil shall come and that's a good question what are we going to do i'll tell you what we're going to do lord willing we're going to continue to have faith in you have this is this what you're going to understand it's not going to matter what everybody values right now their car their women their family their job you got people that boast in their job. Well, I've got this. I'm, I'm earning 500,000 um, a year. Okay. All that's going to go. 
all that's going to go if you don't have the chip, right? All that's gonna be, it's, not, it's, not, it's gonna be nothing. The only thing that's gonna be valuable is faith. That's why it says something in Luke. When I come, should I find faith upon the earth? Paraphrasing. Will he find faith? Because by that time, a lot of people are going to lose faith. This is going to get real. That's why everything we're going through now is to build us up. Everything. It's going to get bad. It's going to get real, real bad. Rationing. Famine. The, the main commodity is going to be faith. When everything else is stripped away, it's just going to be you. And, and that's it. And for the elect, it's going to be them and you have a shred of faith they have. And I always say that. Who are you really? Strip away, like, strip away the strip, strip the car away, strip the um, the nice clothes away, and you're going to really see who every, who everybody is. You're going to see their true nature. It's a blessing that you have showing me these people's true nature already, but you're really, really going to see these people turn cold. Behold, famine, plague, tribulation, anguish are sent as scourges for amendment. So these things are going to happen. Right? On a large, large scale. Right? And these things will happen, excuse me just a minute, before the World War Three. You know? Because remember, there's a process to everything. And before that happens, the RFID needs to be implemented on a worldwide scale, as it mentions in Revelations 13 and 16. He calls it all both small, great, rich, poor, free, born to receive a mark in their right hand. Or in their forehead. Right hand or in that forehead. So before any missiles drop, that's what's going to be done first. Because that's the elites, that's the agenda. So we might as well go into Revelations 14 and 9 to back up what I'm saying. This is Revelations 14. And go straight to verse 9. And the third angel followed him, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and his image. And that's, hap that's happening now. And one may say, no, well, can you prove that? No, no, it's happening now as we speak. How do you know? How do you, how do you, well, one may say, well, how do you know that? Well, even this whole, even the so-called program, the system, you do know the system is the image, right? You know that, right? That's the image. It's his way of life. So the majority of people around you, you just got to observe, what are they, what are they worshipping? His way of life. They're maintaining it. Right? Even a part of the targeting. Why are they targeting? He may say, well, why are people doing that? Because they're worship, they're going after the beast. This is what this is why you've got to read the scriptures. Right? But it's going to be on a larger scale. And a third angel followed him saying with another voice, if any man worship the beast and his image, okay, his way of life, which people are doing, and that's why when they get a message, what do they do? They're told to what, wear reds, they wear red. When they're told to wear purple, they wear purple. Right? Because they're following after the image of the beast. When they're told to get the vax, they get the vax. Because they're following after the image of the beast. Man. And receive the mark in his forehead or in his hand. He already explained what that is. Okay. And this is, this is what it's coming to. Right? And they have a grid system set up, which is what, 5G and so forth. They have the system set up. It's right before your eyes. Right? There, there is no um, such thing as, um, what's the word, what's the word? Privacy. You, you really have no security. Which, the elect, our security is you have a shy. But in terms of um, security, you don't, you don't have any security. You don't have any privacy. A lot of you signed your rights away. How stupid these people are because they're following after the image of the beast for a full sense of security. Right? And a lot of people do this because they, they're going to think it, oh, it's convenient. <clears throat> it's just convenient. Or what? I can open my door just by just by a fingerprint. I can open my car door. I just have to, you know, put the finger and that's it. You know? Uh, to get into this particular flat, I just got to, you know, put my palm on it. 
you know, the forehead or the hand, and I can open it. This is what it's going to get to. It's going to be similar to that program, Demolition Man. It says, if any man received that mark in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the Most High. So what's that going to be? What's that wrath of the Most High going to be? They're missiles. Remember, there's an order to these prophecies. Which is poured out without mixture into the cup of into ingot. So this, that wrath's going to be poured out without mixture. You ever um, had some Ray and Nephews or some strong drink, 80, 40 percent volume, and you didn't mix it? It's strong. You're going to feel the wrath of that drink. So it's going to be in the same way of the wrath of Yahweh Shai, and he shall be tormented with fire. Right now, you're reading this. You should be you should be in fear of the Lord Yahweh Shai. So whoever does that, they're going to be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels. So whoever takes that mark, and in the presence of the Lamb, the Lamb is speaking about Yahweh Shai. I don't, I don't want that. This way, you, you got this way. We got to pray to be in the right spirit, to be acceptable. And that's this is why I never say, oh, I'm not, I'm not going to take it. No, you got to say, Lord willing, Yahweh Shai will make a way. It's gonna to get to that point. You see how you see how they're closing in, how they're doing things, how everything is being monetized, everything. They're creating um what's it um 15 minute cities now. So it's convenient, so you don't need to go outside of that city. That's what they because they want everybody stuck within a, a certain range, a certain location. Why? So they can keep tabs on you. And the smoke of their torment ascended up forever and ever. This speaking about Babylon. It's not forever for a long time, and they have no rest day nor night. Who? Those that are taken that mark. Who worship the beast and his image. Key thing. Who worship the beast and his image. Right? NATO is consists of the beast as well. Right? And they put forth what these legislations and they believe in the NWO. I don't care if they take down this video as well. I'll just make another one. Alright. So we're talking about a system right now. Now one may say, well, hold on a minute. You, but you're still, you're using YouTube. You're using Google. That's a part of this. Yeah, I, I am using it, but I have enough sense to know these things are not going to be around forever. And the reason why we're using it to get this word out, and that's the only reason, right? That's the only reason. But all these things, all these platforms are going to be shut down. And it says, where was I, verse 11? And they have no rest day nor night, because you're going to have um, this device in you, right? And they're going to be able to shut it off. They're going to be able to shut it off. Right? That's why it says they have no rest day nor night. They're going to be manipulated and they have this technology. They have the technology now on a different level, V2K and other things as well, right? Where they're able to monitor frequencies and use helicopters and to locate you through these frequencies, through, through resonance. They call it resonance, right? They're able to. They're able to do this. It's, it's yeah. It's highly advanced, right? It's highly advanced. So it's it's already here. People are already are uh, worshiping the image right now. But in terms of the physical aspect of it, the actual device, people are gonna take it because they don't want to lose what they have. Okay, and that's why I always say you have to keep these people at arm's length. You have to keep them at arm's length because they're liable to do anything. And you're going to be seen as um, an enemy of the state. Why aren't, you, why aren't you taking it? Have you got something to hide? Have you got something to hide? Why aren't you take? And they're going to blame you. They're going to try to use you as a scapegoat. Because that's how these people are. They want, to they want this place to continue. So enough talking. And they have no rest day or night. They're going to be that cyborgs. And you see that today on a level. You see that today. Just how these people are acting. Just how these people are acting. <laughs> you know. Like I said. You've got to use. Even a, the so-called targeting. That's an example. That's a major example. 
Oh, this person just got notified to follow you or to do some dumb stuff or to park outside your, your, um, your residence. These are people that are following after the image of the beast. They've sold that. They've sold out already. This is heavy. You've got to realize it's here already. And they have no rest, no day, no night who worship the beast and his image, which is his way of life. His modeling, his fashion, whosoever received the mark of his name. Okay, here is the patience of the saints. Who were the saints? You saw called numerous Hispanics and Neos. Here are they that keep the commandments of the Most High and the faithful Mashiach. Okay, so we went to that Baba Kasha. Now I want to go to Job. And remember, this all links in. You probably think, why am I going into this when I'm speaking about World War III? Because it links in before. Then missiles fly. But that's going to be that. That's going to be the step because it says. Remember what we just read in Revelation fourteen and nine. Right. Whoever receiveth the mark, they shall be burnt with brimstone and fire. So that that was going to be after. Go to Job. There's an order to all these prophecies. Go to. We're going to go to Job twenty one. And jump straight to verse. I get straight to the point. In 18. That which he laboured for, he shall restore the elitists. Right? Because they got a lot of a lot of wealth, old generational wealth, and shall not swallow it down. According to his substance, shall the restitution be. Excuse me, just a minute. Get the new translation as well. It's good to go through it. If you have a new translation. Bible, it's good to go through both of them. Okay. Job 21 and where was it? Where was it? Where was it? Where was it? Job 21 and 18. Let me see what this word restitution means here. Job 21 and 18. Bear me just a minute. Actually, no, it's 20 and 18. It says, what he told for, he must give back uneaten. He will not enjoy the profit from his trading. For he have oppressed the poor and left them destitute. He seizes, he sees houses and did not build. That's why it's good to read the new translation as well, especially if you don't understand a word within the King James Version. But the King James Version is the most accurate. Right? Surely he have no respite from his craving. He cannot save himself by his treasure. Right? So we went to that. Now let's go back to Job. 21 in the King James Version. Okay. That which he laboured for, he shall restore and shall not swallow it down. According to his substance shall the restitution be and shall not rejoice therein. Because he have oppressed and forsaken the poor. And that's what he's doing today. This whole system is, is, is oppressive. Now within the kingdom, do you have like levels? Yeah, you have servants, you have slaves. But I'm talking about it's oppressive. This system is designed to oppress you. And you have forsaken the poor because he had violently taken away in the house which he builded not. So you got this whole thing about this Stoltenberg complaining. But NATO have done that. Right? They've went into different lands violently. It's, it's on record. Just look at Stoltenberg's track record. He had violently taken away in a house which he builded not. Whether it was Libya, whether it is Syria. Right, wherever they went, right? Surely he shall not feel quietness in his belly. And when we think about NATO, NATO is class as what? When you think about NATO, it's a world army, it's the army of the elites, right? He shall not save it which he desires. This is what they've done. They've hired mercenaries, it says in Micah 2, right? Woe to them that covet covetous, that covet houses that belong not to them, which they built not. So this is what they do. This is what they do. So this whole thing about, oh, you know, um, what's, what's it? What's it? <laughs> it's uh, Russia, um, Putin, he's the boogeyman. Yeah, we, well, right. Well, he's, not, he's not completely innocent, but it's Stoltenberg. Because the same thing you're blaming Russia about. Oh, well, bro, you be, NATO's been doing that for the longest. Going into other countries, invading other countries. So you see that it's like a, that, that, that hypocrisy. Look at the hypocrisy. 
putting sanctions on other nations, starving them out. You know, you're no different. But we know he has superiors, right? Within the Israel Israeli lobby, telling him what to do. And it says, surely he shall surely he shall not feel fatness in his belly. He shall not save that which he desired. There shall none of his meat be left. Therefore, no man shall look for his goods. In the fullness of his sufficiency, he shall be in straight to difficult position. Every hand of the wicked shall come upon him. It says, every hand. All the nations are going to turn upon what America. When he's about to fill his belly, the monster shall cast a fear of his wrath upon him. This is when you think, yes, we got it under wraps. The, um, the RFIDs issued. And they're going to think, yes, we, we got this, we got this covered. That's when the Messiah shall cast a few of his wrath upon him, which we went into in Revelation 14 and 9. And shall rain upon him while he's eating. It's like when you're about you're just about to eat something. Right? You may be, you may be on a pitch, right? Maybe at, you may be watching some football. You may be to eat a burger and the ball hits you right in your mouth and slaps that burger out of your mouth. It's gonna be the same similitude if you have a shine. So yes, they're going to be able to succeed. But only to a certain level. Right? Until your house just says, no, that's enough now. So, yeah, they're, they're going to be able to do a lot of things. He shall flee from the iron weapon and the bar still shall strike him through. The elites, they're going to be an undercover um, basis, bunkers. It is drawn and cometh out of the body. Yeah, the glittering sword cometh out of his gal. This is talking about the missiles. The gal is the, um, the silos that they kept him. Terrors are upon him. <laughs> Terrors are upon him, right? All darkness shall be hid in his secret places. A fire not blown shall consume him, because it's not what blown yet. It shall go ill with him that is left in his tabernacle in the land of America. The heaven shall reveal his iniquity, and the earth shall rise up against him. The increase of his house shall depart, and his goods shall flow away in the day of his wrath. All them goods he stacked up. This is the portion, the lot. Of a wicked man from the Most High and the heritage appointed to him by the Most High. So this shows out how everything is going to play out. But it's not going to be no major, major World War Three or no ICBM missiles, intercontinental ballistic missiles shot until this prophecy plays out. And as soon as that happens, that's when your house is going to come back, right, and declare. Right, his excellence. Okay, excuse me, just a minute. That's when that's when he's gonna come back. So with this, I'm gonna shut off. Lord willing, this was edifying, and I just thought I'd switch it up today. Not every time, and I'm dealing with a lot of stuff as well. So certain things just want to take my time with. Don't rush and just flow with the spirit. And make sure you brothers, you're reading as much as possible. You're praying. You're fasting. Right. As much as possible. Because we're, we, we are in the last days. And that's why Satan is um, amping it up. Some of you brothers and sisters. You maybe feel like you're catching hell from every side. Yeah. Because we're near the end. We are near the end. Okay. So with this I hope this is edifying. And until the next time. Shalom.